<laughs> so season two of Better Call Saul more or less picks up after the end of the first season. Jimmy McGill was offered a role at a prestige law firm but turned it down at the end of season one to do things on his terms. We find him essentially chilling in a hotel pool, pretending to be someone else, up to his vintage shenanigans, even coaxing Kim to get in on some action for old time's sake. But after talking with Kim, Jimmy eventually takes the job and works with his new employees and the guys at HHM, Chuck included, to Jim's reluctance, on the Sandpiper case, the one about the old people's homes. Jimmy obtains more clients for the case via solicitation, and Chuck is suspicious of how he managed to nab so many clients. In a rather humorous subplot involving someone sitting naked on a pie while crying, Jimmy also manufactures evidence to get a drug supplier off police radar, and he's surprised that Kim is furious to learn that he made up the evidence. Jimmy also has a commercial aid, one done in his flamboyant style to the rage of his bosses who say it goes against their style and reputation and he's almost fired for it. So there is clearly a theme with this season of Jimmy trying but just not fitting in to the orthodox methods of his employers with his style of gamesmanship, bending the rules and straight up breaking them. A square peg in a round hole, Jimmy recognises he's just not at home and so works to get himself fired while still retaining his bonus, and from there he tries to convince Kim to reject a nice new job she's been offered, and instead work with him as an independent. The relationship between Jimmy and Chuck is further explored in this season, with flashbacks highlighting the nuance in the duo's relationship and bringing to light the tensions and undercurrents of resentment, like a scene where Jimmy is invited over to Chuck and his wife for dinner, and Chuck's wife is charmed by Jimmy's personality, making Chuck jealous. In another, the brothers are at their hospitalised mother's deathbed, who wakes up just after Jimmy decides to go and get some food. Chuck, who's been at his mother's side this whole time, has to hear his mother call out Jimmy's name repeatedly instead of his before passing on and Chuck neglects to mention this to Jimmy, in fact just straight up saying that their mother didn't say anything before she died. In the present day, the tension between the brothers, fueled ostensibly by Jimmy's unethical practices, ends up with a season cliffhanger which could very much end up with Chuck sending Jimmy to jail. Season 2 focuses a lot more on Kim as well, and meanwhile, Mike gets closer to his daughter-in-law and his granddaughter, and continues to do assignments to make extra money, with one such storyline bringing back Tuco Salamanca and reintroducing Hector Salamanca from Breaking Bad, the guy with the bell. So overall, I thought season 2 of Better Call Saul was something of a step down from the first. It was solid, it has some great scenes and feels like it will be a snug fit in between season 1 and 3, but to be honest, I just kind of found it a little bit boring. It's funny because many people said the first two seasons were slow and dull, and after watching season 1 I said no it wasn't dull at all, and it was a fine character drama. But it's as if the show went, really Siniranta? Well let's see how slow you can handle because this season really does feel like a few solid eventful episodes stretched out into an entire 10 episode season. There are a lot of shots and scenes that feel like they go on for minutes more than necessary, so many scenes of Mike sitting in his car watching people, a storyline which goes nowhere and doesn't even have a conclusion, so many montages that go well past the point of driving the point home, like Kim making calls to get out of the mail room and Jimmy trying to get himself fired. I don't mind a show with strong characters having minimum story, but at times it felt like there was no story. It's all building up to stuff that I presume is going to happen in season 3. But the issue there is, is that this season doesn't really stand on its own two feet like the first does. It feels like a first half of a season in terms of story, the first of a two-parter, but with so many unnecessary fat that it really didn't need 10 episodes to do what it did. I found my mind wandering at times, just dozing off into space while Mike was ambling around staring into cafes. It almost feels like, and I'm not saying this is what happened, but that Better Call Saul was intended to be one season only, and when the first became such a hit and the studio greenlit a sequel season, the writers panicked and scrambled to come up with a legitimate continuation of the story, and the result is a lack of progression, and in many ways, actually going backwards, 
Like the whole thing with Jimmy turning down the job offer at the end of season one, which was supposed to be such a big moment. That ending feels retconned now, or at least not as impactful, as after spending some time in a pool and a wild night out, Jimmy ended up accepting the job anyway. And again, like in season one, realises that this world isn't for him and wants to be doing his own thing. But haven't we been down this road before? So overall, a bit of a disappointment when compared to the solid first season. I do think my opinion of season 2 will be improved as the show goes on, as no doubt, like with season 2 of The Wire, necessary seeds have been placed for future seasons and storylines to work. But on its own, at the moment, it feels a little empty and unfinished. So what did you think of season 2 of Better Call Saul? Let me know in the comments below. And before we finish, I just want to thank my patrons, Andre Millington, Nicholas Curtis and Dirk K, and also my channel members, the new on Gorm24, Rikers and Michael Awaswi. Thanks for watching.